The migrant caravan protests are escalating as residents of Tijuana call the migrant caravan a horde, demand they be removed. Some are even saying that Donald Trump was right and this is an invasion. Recently, we heard the mayor of Tijuana said it was a horde, it was an avalanche, and they need to be deported. Now, interestingly, it seems like some people in the media are trying to make this Donald Trump's fault. BuzzFeed actually ran a story saying that this is Trump's rhetoric pouring into Mexico and it's abhorrent. Washington Post said it was only some residents of Tijuana who are protesting. It seems like they're trying to downplay what's actually happening. But the reality is maybe the citizens of Mexico have their own agency and recognize when thousands of people enter their town, it's bad for their economy and it's a strain on their resources and more caravans are expected to come. Many more thousands of people are expected to come. We saw the clashes at the southern Mexico border. Many of these citizens are now calling for border security. The interior minister of Mexico said that some of these people were actually armed. And we're also hearing now from a Mexican journalist that these people are actually committing crimes. Maybe it's not that extreme, but today, let's take a look at these stories and try and figure out what's actually going on and is the media trying to downplay what the Mexican citizens are actually calling for. But before we get started, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Timcast if you'd like to support my work. Patrons are the backbone of the content I create, so if you like these videos and you want to see more, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Timcast and become a patron today. Now, as you saw in the beginning, we can see one protester carrying a sign that says no to the invasion, as several hundred people or more are seen marching through the streets. El Paez classified this as xenophobia, saying xenophobia goes to the streets of Tijuana. Some 300 protesters marched to the hostel where the bulk of the migrant caravan, which had to be guarded by local police. And then we can start to see similar rhetoric to Donald Trump. Tijuana first. Tijuana is respected. Long live Mexico. Now forgive the Microsoft translation. It's not that good. And then the story from The Guardian. Out, out. Protests grow in Tijuana against migrant caravan. Tensions have built as nearly 3,000 migrants poured into the Mexican border city in recent days. Hundreds of Tijuana residents have congregated to protest the thousands of Central American migrants who have arrived in the Mexican border city hoping for a new life in the U.S. Tensions have built as nearly 3,000 migrants from a caravan that has been traveling through Central America poured into Tijuana in recent days. The federal government estimates the number of migrants could soon swell to 10,000. U.S. border inspectors are processing only about 100 asylum claims a day at Tijuana's main crossing to San Diego. Asylum seekers register their names in a tattered notebook managed by migrants themselves that had more than 3,000 names even before the caravan arrived. On Sunday, displeased Tijuana residents waved Mexican flags, sang the Mexican national anthem, and chanted, out, out. They accused the migrants of being messy, ungrateful, and a danger to Tijuana. They also complained about how the caravan forced its way into Mexico, calling it an invasion and they voiced worries that their taxes might be spent to care for the group. We don't want them in Tijuana, protesters shouted. Juana Rodriguez, a housewife, said the government needed to conduct background checks on the migrants to make sure they didn't have criminal records. A block away, fewer than a dozen Tijuana residents stood with signs and support for the migrants. Kayla Samaran, a 38-year-old teacher, said the protesters didn't respect her way of thinking as she held a sign saying, childhood has no borders. NBC ran the story. Protesters in Tijuana, Mexico, want migrant caravan to leave. Quote, We're sounding like Trump's America here in Mexico, said Francis Belmontes, who joined the demonstration with his two children. The protesters said they had no problem with legal immigration, but they were strongly opposed to what they called an illegal invasion. Some protesters said the Mexican government should follow President Donald Trump's lead and adopt tougher border policies. He's defending his border unlike our president, said protester Elvia Vijeras. Now there will be more violence in Tijuana. On Friday, Tijuana Mayor Juan Manuel Gastelum called the influx of migrants an avalanche that could wind up staying in the city for at least six months. Trump tweeted, the mayor of Tijuana, Mexico, just stated that the city is ill-prepared to handle this many migrants. The backlog could last six months. Likewise, the U.S. is ill-prepared for this invasion and will not stand for it. They are causing crime and big problems in Mexico. Go home. Roy Grant, who lives in Tijuana and works in San Diego, said he fears any mass demonstrations by the migrants could end up shutting down the San Ysidro port of entry. I think these migrants need to go back to their country, Grant said. Mexico needs to take a very aggressive hands-on approach and deport them. Grant said he found himself as an unlikely supporter of Trump's hardline position on immigration. In an article by the Washington Post, they said, on the Mexican side, Tijuana's mayor has referred to the migrants as bums and a horde, and a small group of residents held a protest Sunday morning shouting no to the invasion, and they are terrorists. I would say that these developments are rather surprising. We know that violence erupted over the past weekend, with several residents getting into fights with some of the migrants. 
Women and children went to shelters, but young men stayed behind and fights actually broke out. Eventually, some journalists were injured. What's interesting is to see the exact same rhetoric from Donald Trump repeated by Mexican citizens. Mexico had its southern border pushed through. Some police were injured. And now 3,000 migrants are in Tijuana, and the Tijuana residents are saying Tijuana first. Mexico needs to deport these people. They're calling the migrants an invasion. The mayor's calling it a horde. It sounds exactly like what Donald Trump has been saying. I wonder how activists on the left will respond to this, because certainly you can't call the Mexican citizens racist, although some people actually are. One thing that I find interesting, though, is how the American media is kind of downplaying what's going on. In that Washington Post article I just quoted, the title is, Some Tijuana Residents Rally Against Migrant Caravan. But why would they add the word some? Why wouldn't they just use the headline, Tijuana Residents Rally Against Migrant Caravan? I find it rather odd to add this word to imply that it's only a few who are actually doing it. No, you would just say the residents are protesting. But more interestingly is BuzzFeed's approach to the story. They kind of imply this is all Trump's doing. The headline, Trump's nationalist rhetoric has trickled down to Mexico and turned people against the caravan. Marches in support of and against the migrant caravan faced off in Tijuana on Sunday, underscoring the increasingly polarized debate over immigration in the border city and the country. They're claiming Trump is the one who has turned people against the caravan, implying the citizens of Mexico don't have their own agency and can't decide for themselves. If the mayor of Tijuana is going to call this an invasion or a horde or an avalanche, I wouldn't say that's Trump's fault if the politicians in Mexico are actually saying these things. You can't claim that Trump is the one turning people against the caravan because these people have their own opinions. It's, it's crazy that they would run this story. In this story from Town Hall, they start by saying Mexican journalist Alex Backman has released a stunning expose on the caravan from Central America. He says the migrants are robbing and stealing in Mexico. They carjack cars containing just one occupant. There are even accounts of rapes. Many of the migrants will not let people film them. If they see someone filming them through a car window, they stop the car and demand the phone. Backman suspects the reason they don't want to be filmed is because they have criminal histories. He said the Mexican president hasn't done anything to stop it. The Mexican government is instead providing them with necessities, including medical aid. This, despite the fact that 48% of Mexicans disapprove of the caravan, almost 2,700 Central Americans have applied for asylum in Mexico since the caravan started. However, the Mexican government says it does not have the resources to house all the caravan members for six months. They cite this story from the Yucatan Times. 48% of Mexicans are not in favor of the migrant caravan. And while it's fair to say that based on this statistic, the majority of Mexicans are in favor of it, it's not fair to then say that the Mexicans who oppose the migrant caravan are only being influenced by Trump or its hatred and intolerance from the U.S. pouring into Mexico. These Mexican citizens, nearly half of them, have their own opinions. The truth is always closer to the middle. I think it's fair to say that the bulk of the caravan probably is women and children, but by bulk, I don't mean the overwhelming majority, just that there are probably more women and children than men based on simple demographics and statistics. However, there are many young men. They have been seen throwing rocks. They have been seen with Molotov cocktails. The interior minister of Mexico said that some of them are actually armed. And now we're seeing some fights break out. And now you actually have Mexican citizens saying they're upset. I'm not here to make a moral argument to tell you that the immigration is good or bad. The point is there are people in Mexico who are citizens of that country who have their own thoughts and opinions and believe the migrant caravan is bad for their city. There are certainly some people who believe the opposite. But it's interesting to see that Washington Post said some Tijuana residents are protesting. Well, they wouldn't add that qualifier to any other story. They would just say residents of Tijuana protest because they do. And BuzzFeed is making it sound like it's all Donald Trump's fault. That's how they're framing the story. When the reality is, there are a lot of people of varying opinions in various places who will protest and believe in certain things. And right now, there is a challenge for those on the left who would claim that Trump supporters are simply being racist or intolerant by not allowing the migrant caravan in this country, when you can see the same exact rhetoric coming from Mexican citizens. And you can see the polls show that nearly half of Mexicans do not want the caravan there. How then do you respond to that? You can't simply call the Mexicans racist, nationalist, but they certainly will try to blame Trump. As I mentioned, there's about 3,000 migrants from the caravan who are at the border in Tijuana now, and we're already seeing scuffles and protests and anger from the city, but they're expecting 7,000 more in the long run. I can't imagine they will have the resources to help them, and I can't imagine protests will just stop. Residents are probably going to get angrier as the groups get larger and larger. Donald Trump has said we don't have the resources for them, and we can't nearly process that many in time. This is going to be six months, and I can only imagine things will get worse for everyone, the migrant caravan and the residents of Tijuana. But let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. How do you feel about what's going on in Tijuana? 
it's crazy to see the residents of Mexico repeating similar rhetoric that Trump uses. But I'm not going to say that they're influenced by Trump. Some of them probably are, sure. But I think it's fair to say these people have their own opinions about their economy and their government. And the issue of Central American migration through Mexico, where Mexicans have opposed people coming up through their country, it's been around for a long time, much longer than Donald Trump's been president. But again, comment below and let me know what you think. We'll keep the conversation going. You can follow me on Twitter at TimCast. Stay tuned. New videos every day at 4 p.m. And I'll have more videos up on my second channel, youtube.com slash TimCastNews at 6 p.m. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all next time.